the lovely world. So I kind of wanted to talk about three three things that I believe describe me, or not just not just describe me, but what I strive to be every single day of my life. Now, it may not seem it may not seem like I am these things, but I am. 100% these things and you know it, uh, before I go into like a full dive into this look not every single person on this planet whether you're a man a woman whatever you classify yourselves as are perfect we're not you know not everything in in life is about attraction whether it's physical attraction or anything like that. It doesn't matter. It shouldn't matter how much someone weighs or how muscular someone, some guy is or how big a woman's breasts are or how big a woman's ass is. And I'm going to say that because I can say that on my channel because this is my channel. Or, you know, how skinny her stomach is or, you know, what color eye she has, what, what she's done to her nose, or what color hair she has, or, you know, wh how her jawline is. That should not matter in, in being in a relationship with anyone, whether it's a friendship with a woman, whether it's a friendship with a guy. It shouldn't matter, you know, how uh, our appearances you know, if you're a guy, you shouldn't have to, you know, have a six pack or have these big old muscles or anything like that or or a, a, an ass or anything like that or a big, you know, private area. It, that should not matter. What should matter is how kind your heart is, how generous you are. It's it's the quality. It's those qualities that make us who we are. It's. It's being smart, but not too smart. It's it's about you know being loving without you know being creepy about your love or stalkerish about your love. It's 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 it drives me insane when when women look at me and think I'm this you know too goody two shoe guy. I am nice. I am kind. I am loving. I am smart. I am funny in my own ways and that's that's what you guys that's what women should be looking at not how you know if we have a six pack or if we have you know we can lift them up that's not what that's not what we should be striving to be in the world and it could go for guys too it could be either side of the spectrum it shouldn't matter how big her boobs are or how big her ass is or you know if she has hair down there, or if she has hair on her arms or on her in her armpits, that should not matter at all. It 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 drives me it drives me to the point of what asking why women do that towards us and we do that towards women. But I'm not going to go all into detail of, of you know all of that stuff. I mean, I just mentioned it, but I'm not going to go make a full video of it. What I'm going to talk about today is three things. Patience, time, and what was the third thing I was going to mention? And loyalty. Look, I'm not a dog. I'm never going to be a dog. I don't intend to be a dog anytime soon. But the thing is, if you think about it, being loyal to a friend or being loyal to your girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever whoever you're dating in life should be about your loyalty, your commitment, your communication towards that specific person. For me, and now, before I continue on, I have no experience in dating a woman. And at least not right now. Maybe someday in the near in the near future, whether it's you know six months down, six months from now, or a year from now, or three years from now, I'll know what that feels like. But right now, I don't, and I may not you know have that kind of experience in things. But I've seen I've seen so much in this world. I've seen so many relationships happen, 
to and it's not always the right you know thing to do is make your relationship public unless she's ready to make it public and you're ready to make it public. That's that's another thing that should be a disclaimer in this video. But the fact is that you need to be loyal. You need to. And I'm not saying everyone is going to be honest in a relationship, but honesty is key as well. It's a key factor in any friendship, any relationship. Loyalty is part of that. Patience and time go hand in hand. I want you guys to understand that. Patience and time go hand in hand. Because without patience, you don't have time. And without time, you don't have patience. Because, you know, in a relationship, and like I said before, I've never been in one, so I can't, you know, I probably don't know anything, what's, what I'm saying is probably, you know, not accurate enough, but you need to be patient with your partner. You need to, you know, to listen to their side of things and make them comfortable with you. In any setting, in any scenario, and be patient. And if she doesn't, if she doesn't feel comfortable, and she doesn't feel, you know, you know, that she wants to be in this relationship, then she won't be in it. And the same thing can be said about guys. If the guy feels uncomfortable, or does, or doesn't, you know, whatever I said for the women's side, it could be said easily for the guy side too. I am straight. I want to make that clear. I I know I say that a lot, and you know, it it may get it may get tiring after a while, but that's just that's just who I am. And look, you don't have to believe anything I say in this video, but patience is the most important thing in in any relationship. You got to be patient with your partner because they don't know. You don't know how they're feeling or what they're feeling unless they say they know what they're feeling or how they're feeling. And and that goes back to patience. You know, if she doesn't if if you're misreading the signs in, on the first date or the second date, there probably won't be a I mean if if you're re misreading the signs on the first date, there won't be a second date. If you're re misreading the signs on the second date, there won't be a third date. And so forth and so on. Or even if it's just called hanging out. I don't know what the terminology is now, but when I was in high school and when I was, you know, you know, when I graduated high school, it was called dating. Now it's called hanging out. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. You know, the first thing you should do is, is, go, is go out with her, take her to a nice dinner, a nice restaurant, or any kind of restaurant, really. Anything that she likes, whatever type of food she likes, take her to that place, you know, and, and maybe, you know, afterwards, if you do, if you could, you could do lunch or you could do something that's, you know, kind of an early dinner and then take her out to go bowling or take her out to go miniature golfing or go to the movies. And now I know movies are not the ideal place to go on a date. Because it's dark and you can't communicate with that said person. Or maybe go to the movie first and then go to dinner afterwards. It, I mean, or do some sort of uh, physical activity. It could be hiking. It could be, you know, going to a theme park. It could be, could be going to an event like VidCon or Comic-Con or any kind of event. Just, you know, take her out. Read the situation. That's the most important thing. Is read the situation. If she's not feeling it, that means that there won't be a second date. But if she's enjoying herself, she's having a good time, she wants to, you know, and you agree to go on a second date, that's great. Do that. You know, do that kind of stuff. And, you know, and, and it shouldn't be, you know, if she doesn't want that first kiss on that first date, Wait until maybe like the second after the second date or after the third date, and the same thing could be about sex. Wait until she is ready for that situation to happen, not because you want to jump into something that you know nothing about, unless you're experienced in in first kiss and 
and you know having sex for the first time and stuff like that. But if you're like me, you have no clue how that whole thing works. Now I know I said you know wait until the second date or third date for a first kiss. That's fine. I'd say wait until you're three months, six months, or even anywhere between three and six months to have sex for the first time. Because that's when she'll feel comfortable, that's when she'll feel relaxed around you, and you can, you know, communicate with her and make sure everything's okay with her. That goes all back to patience and timing. Wait things out. Be patient with her. Read the situation. Make sure her body language is saying, okay, this is going in the way I want it to go, and let's see where things go from there. Now, I know it sounds like I have experience in this, but I have none. It's, it's from what I can see with my own two eyes that, you know, some dates go really, really bad that I've seen, and some dates could go really, really good. It's just a matter of, how she's feeling and how he's feeling, whichever you know side of the pendulum you are on. That's all I wanted to discuss with you guys today, and that's that's my whole point in this video, is that you got to learn to be patient, you got to learn to take your time with something, and you got to be loyal to a T. Those are the things that you need to need to figure out before you jump into or before you ease yourself into a relationship with, for me, it would be a woman. But for any of you guys out there who are, you know, in the LGBTQIA plus community, that's fine. You do you. If you're a straight woman or guy, listen to this thing. And it could be, it could go for gay men and gay and lesbian women or bisexual women or whatever. Or queer, or transgendered, or transsexual, or whatever you are. It could go for anything in the, in the whole thing. In the LGBTQIA plus whatever it is community. Just, just think about everything that I, I mentioned in this. Respect, or not respect. Um, that also plays a part, you know. Loyalty, patience, and timing. Those are the three things that I've learned in my 31 years from watching others' relationships and watching, you know, others, you know, break up because of some miscommunication. Also, communication is key as well. Don't, mis don't misinterpret that. Communication, those four things really. For communication, patience, timing, and loyalty. I mean, there's other factors that help relationship as well, but... Those are just the ones I want to discuss today. Now, I want to wish uh, Sebastian Stan a happy 38th birthday. Uh, Dave Days a happy 29th birthday. Ali Speed a happy 31st birthday. And Travis K a happy 28th. And anyone else who has a birthday on this day today. To, I want to wish them the happiest of their birthdays. Even though we're stuck indoors and we can't really, you know, go to restaurants and bars and nightclubs and stuff like that, I want you guys to please be safe, whatever whatever you're doing to celebrate a birthday, have a drink or or whatever you plan on doing, having a nice dinner with family, you know, that sort of thing, if it's your birthday today, do it indoors at your own house or get Postmates or whatever it is and do it the best way you know how, even cooking. You can cook something from what you have in your house or your apartment or wherever you're living. It could be a cabin, it could be a beach house, it could be anything. Wherever you're living, just please stay indoors and celebrate your birthday at your own place and not force things into the real world. Until we know this virus is gone completely and there's no more cases and no more deaths, I'm asking you to please remain indoors, cook your own meals, have something delivered to your house, or call and then have someone, you know, go, go into the place and pick it up by wearing a mask. That's all I'm saying. With that being said, I will see you tomorrow with a brand spanking new vlog. Y'all know the drill.
Keep it real. Bye-bye.